Hi, and thanks for joining us for Industry Insights. My name is Mike Wixon. This is part of the Remy Network. More detail on the Remy Network will be found in the description of the show. You'll find that right below the video or in the description of the audio podcast. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify, please follow along and on YouTube. Same goes. Subscribe and please just hit the notification button. And every time we have another story, uh, we'll be there uh, notifying you on exactly uh, when it is uh, in your ready. Uh, okay, today this is an interesting story. Um, I read this in Condo Business, and uh, we definitely have the right uh, individuals with us today to talk about this topic. Let me read this to you. An invisible network of tanks, pipes, valves, and fittings in a building's plumbing system are vital components of a property. When there's a failure, every second counts. Not reacting quickly means costly repairs and inconvenience. Yet it's not just leaks that are a problem, pressure, temperature, velocity, all key factors in a plumbing system and all require consistent monitoring. That sounds like a lot to keep an eye on to keep your tenants happy. Uh, joining us from Tag Teca today, uh, Bob and Alex, thanks guys for taking the time. Thank you. Let me ask you this, uh, this invisible network of tanks, pipes and valves, uh, all of this seems like a huge amount to keep an eye on at one time. And when something goes wrong, it can be catastrophic. What are some of the catastrophic outcomes that can be the result of not being uh, being monitored? Some catastrophic outcomes for no monitoring it properly is could be floods that are, you know, every second could cause tremendous loss to the property. Another one inconvenience for the people in the building that live in the building, tenants or unit owners, so this is very, very important to keep uh, to keep recording, keep uh, the no no location of the valves. What are they for? And obviously, you know, to exercise them. Exercise them. That means to open and close them at least uh, twice a year, as per manufacturer specification. In case of emergency, you know that these valves are working and where they are located. Oh, it makes perfect sense. Uh, so, uh, in the case of a flood, for example. You're not just, it's not just a water situation. It's not just a plumbing problem. Suddenly it's now a tenant problem, an insurance problem. Um, it seems like uh, almost one of the first things you'd want to avoid is any kind of plumbing issue. 100%, you know, like from our experience, we have uh, buildings where we do exercising of the valves for domestic hot and cold water system, you know, twice a year. Within the last 10 years, we replaced one valve. We have some other buildings that we service with 30-story buildings where the valves were not exercised for uh, six to seven years. We are replacing 80 valves. So this is the huge difference in uh, loss of domestic water for the property and inconvenience for people. This, uh, this also leads to the next question. Uh, it seems to me that uh, people think, okay, we just need to concern ourselves with what's coming and going in a building with regard to plumbing, but there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, describe for me what some of the major concerns are in a building on a daily basis that uh, property managers and owners have to think about. The major concerns are uh, obviously pressure fluctuations, temperature fluctuations, uh, seized valves, so, you know, like we had an incident uh, about two weeks ago, one of our uh, master plumbers went to the building when they had a leaking leak inside a wall. He's trying to close the valve. The valve is not working. All of a sudden we have to shut down the whole building. People cannot be notified because there's no time to notify people, obviously, because the flood is going on. So what we have to do next step is, you know, to isolate domestic hot and cold water for the whole building. 280 units with no water, everybody gets frustrated. It's it's causing a lot of unnecessary problems and issues for the building. And it seems to me uh, all of this pretty much avoidable if you can. Well, in most cases, avoidable if you've got the right eyes or the temperature, I guess, on your operating system overall. And, and that's actually where, where you guys come in. Uh, you, I would often think, okay, technology is all coming out of uh, out of Asia or out of Silicon Valley. And uh, I think they certainly enabled you guys. But really, it was your plumbing experience that leads to our next discussion, which is Tagteca overall. This, All of these problems that we're talking about today really are avoidable. And now you guys have introduced a system that 
makes it almost inexcusably unavoidable. Yes, this is right. Uh, so what we design with Dacteca is we have a capability of controlling pressure, temperature, flow, location of the valves, uh, when they were installed, keep up there with warranties. Obviously, right now, you know, you go to the building, you don't know when where the valve was installed, uh, who was installed by, you know, when was the last time exercise. So Takteka came with the idea to put the records into the system from the day of installation, the location of installation, the meaning of installation. That means what that, that valve does for the building, where it's located, how to shut it down. So it's easier for even superintendent in the case of emergency to locate the valve, to shut up the valve. So this is very important. Also for, you know, we work in multi-level uh, high-rise buildings within GTA area, some of them 60, 70 story buildings, where that building consists of 800 to 1,000 valves. Simply impossible, you know, in the case of emergency to do shut down in the zones if you don't know exactly where they are located very helpful with our system to locate it to shut it down and cause us less to co to cause uh, very little you know inconvenience for the people that live in the building also pressure fluctuations huge issue within toronto for the warranties you know pressure and temperature we did study with maybe 10 different buildings obviously they are above their minimum requirement of the code because of this, we have many leaks from the pipes because they, they were never monitored from the beginning. Now we have the capability to monitor pressure, to, to monitor the flow and temperature and set up the valves properly according to the manufacturer recommendations. And all of this trackable. Now, I, I would imagine many manufacturers out there today uh, are, are will readily tell you that you can monitor uh, their valve system, their, uh, you know, whatever technology they're adding. But the truth is uh, you guys have cut through with some major differences from what's already out in the marketplace based on coverage alone. Talk to me about what cuts you guys apart from the rest of the crowd in uh, monitoring. Uh, the rest of the crowd, the other company, like actually our digital tagging of the system, what it does, what do we do? We implement the model number of the asset in the building could be a valve, could be a pump, could be any asset which when it comes to HVAC industry or plumbing industry. We program it into our system so we know exactly what that item or asset of the building does and when was service last time. Also, you know, as you know, when they build the building, they have an engineering mechanical specification for the valves. So this allows us to know what model number of valve it is, what does it do, and also backtrack all the warranties for the assets when it comes to plumbing and mechanical for whole building. It's a very visual system as well. It uh, seems to have a lot of indicators that are easy to see and access at any time. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, sure. So um, what Bob was mentioning, what you see in most conventional type tags is literally just a a metal uh, tag ring with three digits on it. We've taken a whole different step of using what the technology exists out there with implementing RFID scanning technology. So instead of just having a metal tag with three digits on it, you still have to take the action of going to look at a valve chart and see what this valve or this mechanical item pertains to. And many times what we found over the years is that this information is highly incorrect, it's not being updated, okay? So what Bob mentioned before is that everything gets stored now. So this tag right here, which is on a valve that I'm holding, when you use the technology that we provide, which is a RFID scanner, coupled with our uh, mobile app, you can literally scan your entire building where you have this tag installed and have all information pertaining to it. You know, we've used the very close customer feedback loop, working with our customers, putting ourselves in their shoes and determining, you know, what would make your life easier? What are their things that you go through where you find deficiencies or you feel where you're not uh, very organized or you don't have control over? And we've worked with our customers closely 
to help design this system. So, and this is the result of it. You have a complete database now of all your mechanical items in your building. You know, as um, Bob mentioned, when it was installed, the make, the model, the size, the serial, that's something you're never gonna find in a conventional valve chart. Uh, and that all lends itself, that information lends itself to everything from uh, warranties to reporting for insurance. And it just seems like if you've got uh, close attention on installation dates and uh, you know warranty extensions and all of that, uh, all in one place, you've got a handle on what your potential costs on maintaining the building become. That's right. It gives you full control, full historical data records. So. What I love about this, guys, is that uh, most of the time, technology, as I say, comes from someplace in the tech field. I love when it's developed by people who actually need to use it, have a purpose for it. That tends to be the technology we use the longest in this world. That's right. And that's what differentiates us from other software uh, companies, in a sense, is that we, we're on the battlefield. We're on the front line and we see what goes on. And, you know, with many years and decades of experience, you know exactly what your product is and how it'll help your customer. Uh, we'll get people in touch with you in just one second. In wrapping up, tell me, guys, and, and either of you or both of you, take a second with this one if you want. Where do you go from here? What's the future look like for Tag Tech uh, with technology? Oh, we can uh, we can even advance our uh, knowledge through the different application of the valves, but obviously the national codes of Canada are keeping us uh, a little bit, uh, you know, locked in. But we know also we can uh, we are in the process of also adding the valve into zones where we can shut off the zones from the phone in case of emergency. So instead, you know, for plumber to get to a job site emergency basis, forty five minutes to one hour, we we trying to avoid this and shut off the application from the phone within five to 10 seconds. Bring that technology, guys. Bring it on. Well, yes. And also, I have to add other thing that is very important because I have an incident where I'm studying uh, two buildings uh, in downtown Toronto. Obviously, there's three, three years of problem with hot water distribution. And obviously, there is a lot of leaks from the pipe that was manufactured, but the manufacturer and uh, supposed to be 25 years warranty on the pipe. Now we have a builder involved, manufacturer involved, Tyrone involved. What is the problem? Okay, because, you know, obviously the builders blames the manufacturer after conducting our study with the sensors, flow sensors, temperature sensors. We find out that everything is above uh, the minimum requirement of the manufacturer. But how can you prove if you don't have these elements that we implemented into the building? So now we just print the data for two months and you see the pressure fluctuations, temperature fluctuations, flow. And obviously, it's a, it's a mistake that was made by the builder. So sometimes, the, you know, the people that buy these condos, you know, the builder try after the period of time, they try to blame, you know, the, the manufacturer. Obviously, it doesn't work. But how are you going to prove if you don't have the system, in, you know, installed in, within the building? Very Fascinating important. technology. Totally useful technology, certainly for the uh, building maintenance and uh, building ownership world. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much. Let's uh, get people in touch. Tag Tekka. Where can people find out more information? Yeah, you can go to our website, tagteca.com. Fantastic technology. Uh, this caught my attention. It's critical for uh, the building to know this information so that there, if there's an emergency, it can be shut down. I came up with an idea of how we can improve this situation. The result, tagteca. Tagteca.com. Alex, Bob, Bob, well done. Taking one industry by storm and then another one simultaneously. Uh, I wish you both great success and uh, I'll encourage you to check out tagteca.com. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time here on Industry Insights. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, tell a friend. Thanks so much. Man.